Lord, hallelujah. Good morning and welcome to our daily strength today with our rhapsody of realities. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for your joy, for your peace, for your love towards us, your children. Thank you for coming to reign from glory to glory. Yes, Lord, we are grateful in our Lord Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Now we have from our rap study of realities. Today's topic says supreme authority. Wow. Supreme authority. God is good. Supreme authority. So we're going to be learning what it means to have supreme authority. Now, first of all, let's take the meaning of supreme. Supreme. What is the meaning of supreme? And who is the one that has this supreme authority? Now, let's, from dictionary meaning, from dictionary, supreme means highest in rank or authority. Highest in rank or authority. So there are different ranks, but there is one that has highest in rank and authority, authority. And his name is who? Jesus, King Jesus. So he's one that has obtained that supreme authority. Right? For all authority has been given to him in heaven and earth. All powers belong to King Jesus. Even the power that under, underneath the earth belongs to King Jesus. For he has gained that supreme authority. Through his death, burial, and resurrection, being being the Son of God, came to this earth, conquered devil and his courts, and obtained that, and obtained that for us, that we now are called sons of God. And he has become what? The one that what? Have been highly exalted. Glory. He has been highly exalted. He has been highly, highly exalted, and all authority has been given to him. And we are privileged to have him as our, our Lord and Savior. Glory be to God. Amen. Now, let's look at the book of Mark, chapter 16, verse 17, our opening scripture for today. It says, And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. So because you believe in he who the Lord has exalted above every other name, because you believe in him who has been, who has obtained the highest rank and highest authority, now when you speak in his name, when you speak in his name, demonic spirit, they know that he has obtained this authority in God. So when you cast out those devils, they're not obeying you because of you are the one casting them out. They are obeying you because of the one who has sent you in his name. They are obeying you because of the one who is standing, whose name you have used to cast them out. Because this has obtained what? The highest authority. And now he, you are, you are, you are one with Jesus. You are the one that represents Jesus on earth. And now you are sent in his name as, as, as your Lord, ambassador, to go and establish his reign on this earth. We are the ones that represent him on this earth to reign on his behalf unto what? All his enemies are brought under his word, under his feet. So when you cast that devil in his name, in his name, as one who has the legitimate right to do so, because you have received Christ into your heart, they know, they know that that name is far above all names. They will do what? They will they'll run away from that place. That's the way you say cast out. They will cast out from that place. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Now there are two things I would like. I would like to. Sh- I will, I will, there are two things I would like you to observe in the same verse. The first is the fact that the Lord Jesus gave us authority over demons. The Lord just gave us what? Authority over demons. So, as a child of God, we have obtained this authority. And we have to work in this authority. What is authority? Authority is delicated power. Is the right to command and, and be obeyed, or the ability to command and enforce obedience. If I should send you, if somebody had told you, maybe your sibling told you that daddy was calling you, you are not responding to your sibling because, you know, it's your younger or your elder brother that's, that's calling you. You are responding to daddy who is the one that own, owns the authority in the house and is the one calling you, Right? So when the Lord has sent you in his name, and he's, he's the one that has what, the supreme authority, in, his, in a family setting, the father has the supreme authority. So if you ask the devil to live there, because you are the one that what, Jesus has given, what, that delegated power, this earth belongs to King Jesus. 
This is called the, 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 the kingdom of what? His dear son. God in his son has established the kingdom of heaven on this earth. So this kingdom has been given to Jesus. So when you cast out devil in his name, they understand it that yes, this is what this is Christ reigns on this earth. So you have obtained that legal right. You have obtained the legal right. So it is the it is it is it's what it says is the right to command and be obeyed, or the ability to command and enforce obedience. Very simple. Just like you know, if you are coming from a um, from from a kingdom and then the king has given you have delegated his power to you to go on his behalf and establish some you know some um, obedience somewhere within his um, um, within his kingdom. If you go there and you say the king in the name of the king, I have come to do this. Whoever that is there, those words, will obey the voice of the king that, that, is, that is being spoken through you. Because now you are, you are as the, an, 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 an mouthpiece of the king. You have gone to represent the king. When you speak, you are, the king is one speaking through you. That is how the Lord just has sent us in his name. That we should do what? Establish his reign on this earth. Is the right to command something, someone or anything and be obeyed. And be what obeyed. That means they have no other option but what to be to, to obey. They can't rebel. They can't. Demonic demonic spirit might be stubborn, but they know their limits is stubborn, being being stubborn. They know their limits, and they can't rebel. For example, when you when we use the name of Jesus to effect a change or make a command, that's what authority. When I say in the name of Jesus, I'm not saying the name of Gabriel. I'm not saying the name of the law. If somebody approached you now and said something to you, like um, maybe this person is a first man, and he says to you now, "I I command you to stop there in the name of the of of, of, of no in the name of the law." That's because of what person is coming to you in the name of the law means what the law of the land. So he's asking to stop in the name of the law of the land, and the person will probably have to obey. Why? The person is in that in that land. The person cannot come. Someone, someone from from Ghana cannot come to Nigeria and tell you, "I want you to stop in the name of the law of Nigeria of, of Ghana." No, that law op- oppress only in Ghana. Nigeria is a different environment. So you must understand that this word has been given. This word is owned by who? Our Lord Jesus Christ. So when you say in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, because his his rules are what is being established on this earth. This is his kingdom. Any demonic spirit you see out there. They are, they, are, they are the ones rebelling. They, are, they don't own this world. They, they don't own the world. You are the one, King Jesus owned this world, and we are part of the kingdom of light. We are, we are citizens of his kingdom. So because we know that we don't allow corruption in this kingdom, we have been given the right to cast out any form of corruption we see around us in this kingdom. That's the kingdom of God on this earth. So when you say in the name of, in the name of, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, you are exercising your legal rights. As one who is what a partaker of this inheritance in Christ Jesus, you are exercising your legal right as one who owns this earth, co-owner of this earth, and heir in God. Glory be to God. Secondly, He also gave us the power of attorney, that is the legal right to act on His behalf or in His stage as His agent. The legal right to act on His behalf. That means when I said it, the Lord has said it. It is why it is so clear to us. You know, if you look at you look at that scripture where the Lord forgave the young man, and people were against him. He forgave he forgave the man of his sin. Let's get into it. That's that's that is from John twenty verse twenty three, the book of John chapter twenty verse twenty three. It says this scripture shows us that we you and I we have the power to forgive, just the way Jesus forgave. Now let's read, first of all read. Let's first of all read from Mark 5, Mark chapter 2, from verse 5 to 7, to see how Jesus forgave, and then the, 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 Jew, the religious scholars were against him, because they don't understand what it means to, what, to have delegated power. That is how much God has given us as well. Now, that, that scripture, Mark 2, verse 5 to 7 says, When Jesus saw the extent of their faith, he said to the paralyzed man, My son... Your sins are now forgiven. My son, your sins are now forgiven. This offended some of the religious scholars who were present, and they, were, and, they, and they reasoned among themselves. Who does he think he is to speak this way? This is blasphemy of, for sure. Only God himself can forgive sins. 
So they forgot something that Jesus is a son of God. And being a son of God, he has come not in his own name. He has come in the name of the Father. And coming in the name of the Father means what? The Father dedicated all authorities to him that he can what? Perform the things that he did on this earth. Now when he said, my son, your sins are forgiven. It's as though the Father himself is saying what? My son, your sins are forgiven. So the religious scholars didn't understand what, 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 what means to have, to have what? Delegated authority. They didn't understand that. Because Jesus walked in the authority of his father that sent him. He was, the father sent him in his name. How God, how God loved the world and he gave his what? One and only begotten son. And Jesus said what? I have come to do that will, O Lord. That means he came to do the will of the father. And we now have been raised by the Lord Jesus Christ. And we have also obtained our authority in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what the Lord just have told us what he says to us in John chapter 20, verse 23. John 20, 23. The Lord says to us, I send you to preach the forgiveness of sins, and, and people's sins will be forgiven. You see that? But if you don't proclaim the forgiveness of their sins, they will remain guilty. So just the way the Father sent him, and he came here on earth and performed the miracles and healed the sick and cast out devils, and was able to forgive sin because of what he was enjoying. He was indeed walking in the authority that he was given to him from the Father. Now Jesus has, has what risen above all. He has given us supreme authority. Now he has also sent us in his name that we can do what do the same things that he, the Father asked him to do. Now we can do that in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. So when you say in the name of Jesus, you are you are you are you are, you are speaking as Jesus is what. Uh, is one speaking through you. Now, what it means to say in the, of, in the name of Jesus? So, when you say in the, name of, in, the name of, in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven. That person's sin is what? Forgiven. So, if you don't proclaim it, that sins, that sins will remain. So, that means what? You are the one that, that is sent to make things happen. That's just like saying that if, if you go out and heal the sick, that their, their sickness is healed. But if you don't go and proclaim healing to them, they will be, remain what? In sickness. That what this, this scripture can also be read to, to you know, can also get from that scripture. For he says, I send you to preach the forgiveness of sins, right? People's sins will be forgiven. That means when you preach it, their sins are forgiven. But if you don't proclaim it, so if you don't go and heal the sick in his name, what happens? He says, if you don't proclaim it, Forgiveness, if you don't proclaim the forgiveness of their sins, they will remain guilty. So if you don't proclaim the, the, the healing power of God, the healing that Jesus has sent you to go and heal the, the, the nations out there, they will remain what? They will remain what? They will remain in sickness. That means you are a solution provider. When you come, the, the people who are guilty will become what? Forgiven. When you come, people who are sick will become what? Healed. When you come, people who are confused will become what? Will be enlightened because you bring the gospel, the light of the gospel to them. If you come, people who are, who are walking in darkness will become what? Will be saved. They will, not be, they will not come to the place of light. So we must understand that he has sent us in his name. He has sent you and I in his name. That is why if you look at the book of Mark chapter 16, verse 17 to 18. Mark 16, 17 to 18. It says, And this miracle signs will accompany those who believe. Are you a believer? These signs will accompany those who believe. It now says further, they will drive out demons in the power of my name. And many of these demonic, many of these sicknesses you see out there are caused by demonic spirits. Things like poverty that you see out there, that people have used, that have kept people in poverty through witchcraft activities. These are all demonic spirits. There are things that happen on this earth that doesn't look, doesn't look normal to, to, the, to the hearing, you know, to, to the man's hearing. Why? These are done by demonic spirits. So he says, "What well, they will drive out demons in the power of my name. That is when you, now you are bringing healing to, to men. Because we have been healed in Christ Jesus. They will speak in tongues. They will be supernaturally protected from snakes and from drinking anything poisonous. And they will lay hands on the sick and heal them. Why, you, why will you lay hands on the sick and heal them? You are laying hands on the sick as Jesus is the one laying hands through you. And that's what it is. For Christ is in you. The Lord just now made his abode in you. So when you lay hands on the sick, that very life of God that is in you, that is presence that is in you, called Christ in me, the hope of glory. Christ that is in me. Now Christ now lay, now what? Moves through you. That you become a vessel. A, go, a vessel of unto honor. That you can bring healing power of God to men. In, his, in, in, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Not in your own name. 
in your own, your own, you cannot do it. You don't have the ability to do those things. You don't have the understanding to do those things. Not in the name of the doctor. For a doctor, probably have gone through the educational system, have gotten some knowledge that, you know, he, he or she can understand how to combine certain things to get, you know, the result that I need, you know, towards bringing healing to somebody. But now there's something about the supernatural that no one can take the credit, only God. That when you now stretch forth your hands and touch the sick one, now the healing power of God moves from you and heals the sick. Acts 3 verse 16 says, Acts chapter 3 verse 16, Faith in Jesus' name has healed this man standing before you. It is the faith that comes through believing in Jesus' name that has made the crippled man walk right in the front of your eyes. This is about this, what happened with, 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 the, with, the, with the apostles. Right? When they healed the sick man at the beautiful gates. Now, you may not understand that what faith in Jesus' name, not the faith in their own name. That means not in my own ability can I heal this man. Not by my own strength can I heal this man. Not because I've fasted for 40 days and 40 nights can I heal this man. Not because I've, I've, I've been able to finish the scriptures or the, the Bible for like three times can I heal this man. No. I can only heal this man because of what? I have faith in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That means what my faith in, in Jesus is what I've brought here to this man. Because I have faith in my Lord Jesus Christ, I brought healing to this man, which means what? Not of my own authority. It is the authority I've received in my, in my Lord Jesus' name. That I can exercise this authority and bring healing to this man. It says, it is the faith that comes through believing in Jesus' name. True believing in Jesus' name. That has made the crippled man walk right in front of you, in front of your eyes. So we have received something from the Lord. He has given us his very own authority. So we can go out there and make nations and, and what? Preach the gospel and make disciples of all nations. That is why he has done this thing for us. That means we are not just sent on our own. We are not sent to go and use our intellectual to see how, to go, see how we can win men you know, to the kingdom of light. He has sent us in his name and has given us everything that we need to back us up and then see that what? This job he has given us is what? Fulfilling our lives. Fulfilling our lives. So anything we ask the Father, because we are sent to go win the whole world, whatever we ask the Father, He's willing to release to us. Anything. He said, anything you ask of me, I give to you. Because of what? You are not sent in your own name. You are now, King Jesus has obtained something for us. Now when we come, because He's the one that brought us righteousness. When we establish His righteousness on this earth. Now, everything we ask of the Father, because the Father is the righteous one, Father is, the Lord Father, Lord God Almighty is righteous. God is holy. And Jesus has come what, to establish holiness on earth. He has come to be, he has come as a, to what, make us the just, make, make us what, righteous, you know, before our Lord, our God. So because we are sent to establish righteousness all, all over the earth, right, what happens? Anything we ask the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us this same um, who has given us, um, in whom he has given us this gift of righteousness. When we ask the Father anything that will bring forth our, his agenda, which, which is started in the Son Jesus Christ, which is accomplished in the Son Jesus Christ, to let righteousness spring forth all over the earth, you know, making disciples of all nations. When we, when we ask the Father anything in, in, his, in the name of, of his Son Jesus Christ, he is more willing to give it to us, for he has given us all things. Anyway, look at that scripture. When, uh, look at the scripture, John chapter 16, verse 24. John 16, 24. It says, Until now you have not been bold enough to ask the Father for a single thing in my name. Why do you say you have not been bold enough? Because until now, meaning that what? Until Jesus was, until Jesus was resurrected, men could not, uh, even the apostles and the disciples who worked with Jesus, they couldn't ask the Father anything in his name. Why? Sin was standing on, you know, between man and and, and God. But thanks be to God that when Jesus rose from the dead, when, he, when Jesus was crucified, our sins were crucified on, uh, you know, on the cross. And when he, when he was buried, our sins were buried. And that has brought us into a world, a newness of life. So now we can ask the Father in his name with boldness, for we understand that we don't have to, you know, we're not asking as men who are coming to beg the Lord God you know, be, uh, you know, ask the Lord to be merciful to us and come, you know, before God to forgive us our sins. Our sins have been forgiven. We have been given His very own righteousness. It's a gift. We're not coming to come and ask for, for um, you know, start pleading for righteousness again or uh, have sin that stands, you know, against us, not to enjoy fellowship with the Father. Now we can come boldly and ask. 
He says, but now you can ask and keep on asking him. Now we can do what? Ask and keep on asking him. That means now I can ask the Father anything. Because of what? I have received his gift of righteousness in his son Jesus Christ. Because of that authority has given to Jesus, that Jesus, that Jesus has received the authority that he can make us righteous. And he has made you and I righteous by what? Believing in his finished work. He said, and you can be sure that you will receive what you ask for. And your joy will have no limits. I can be sure. Why can I, why, why is it I can be sure? Because I know I'm establishing his righteousness. The very purpose of God, you know, sending Jesus on this earth. For he has come for the world, remission of sins. So whatever I'm establishing on this earth that makes righteousness to reign. For anything you see the enemy walk out there, devil and his works are unjust. Devil and his works are wicked. But God's righteousness was prevailed over all this wickedness. His grace prevails over, over all this wickedness. So when, I, when I'm a man, as a man full of grace, when I come to bring God's grace to men, what happens? God himself backs me up. When I say in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ, by bringing the grace of healing, when I say in the, name of, in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ, you are healed, not by my own strength, and because the Father knows that, yes, he has given us healing in his son, Jesus Christ. As a result of sin, sickness was found on this earth. For the, for the ways of sin is what? Death. And you see, people have walked in the shadow of death. When a man is walking in sickness, he's walking in the shadow of death because he's approaching death. But now, righteousness have come as a gift, given to you and I. And we are sent to establish that righteousness everywhere. As being men of the light, being the light of the world, we are sent to make, let the light shine through us exceedingly. So when I bring God's healing to a man, when I say you are healed in my Lord Jesus' name, that's because I understand that I'm sent. And my Father, who is, who is in me, who walks the walk, you know, in me, has sent me, and then I, I use his name, that has given me, the, which is what, the name that's above every other name, and that name is what, King Jesus. When I say the name of, the name of, the name of my Lord Jesus Christ, you are healed. Now you are healed because he has given his healing. Glory be to God. So we are blessed in the Lord Jesus' name. We are so blessed. We are so blessed. And we must walk in these things. Having been given the power of attorney, how much power do you, do you wield? How much force can you exercise? And how much authority do you really have? It depends on how much power is behind the one that gave it to you. So the, the one that is behind, the one that gave us the power, King Jesus, is, his name is above every other name. So we can understand that anywhere we, anywhere we go to, any place we enter, you know, we're not limited. Just like, for example, if, 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 you, if, if a local government chairman gives you his power to go and exercise out there, is, uh, is the level of a local government chairman is not the same as a governor, and the level of a governor is not the same as a president. So when a president has given me his power, I can go in the name of the president over that nation and I can speak. I have the authority from the president. It's a higher authority compared to that of a governor. That is why well, we must understand the one who is behind you. He says what? And how much authority do you really have? It depends on how much power is behind the one that gave it to you. So you must understand the power of the, of, of, of the one who gave it to you. That means you have to understand what Jesus has done for you. You have to understand who Jesus is. What it means to have the power, to have his name, to, to command things in his name. It's not based on your own strength. It's not even based on your own ability to, to be found righteous. It's based on the gift of righteousness. Because one of the things the enemy have tried to use and keep men, uh, men and children of God from going forth to perform their assignment on this earth is, is that what we call self-condemnation. Making them feel that they're not worthy. That they have sinned somehow, they have, have some wrong thoughts, they have sinned against God through their hearts. And now you see a child of God that should be going out there and commanding things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and establishing righteousness on, on this earth. Now that child of God seems crippled because in his mind, on our mind, he or she has this condemnation. He feels condemned because of one thing or the other. He thought there was sin that would be used against him. But the Lord God Almighty says what? There is no condemnation to them that in Christ Jesus. That means there is no condemnation. That enemy is known to, uh, the enemy is known to be what? An accuser of the brethren. His one has, is putting that in your mind so that you will not exercise your power, your right, in, you know, you have received in the Lord Jesus' name. So you must get up and shake it off and move and establish things in the Lord Jesus' name. By you doing so, what happens? You are coming against the kingdom of darkness and light is shining upon those things you are doing. So understand the power of the, of the, uh, no, understand the, understand the power behind the one who gave it to you. 
is not is not um is not is not going to be compared to any any other power. That was called was supreme authority. It cannot be compared in any way. It's not a fellow man that gave you the authority. It's the Lord God Almighty gave it to you in His Son Jesus Christ. So when we say in Jesus' name, it doesn't matter whatever you have done wrongly yesterday. That 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 in Jesus' name is not based on your ability. Your own righteousness. Just like a, a traffic warden will not have to, um, a traffic person who don't control um, traffic. If you look at a traffic person that controls vehicle, come here, stop there, come here, stop there. You know, people don't really get to, um, it's not based on the traffic, um, traffic, um, warden, maybe how righteous he is or not. For the father, he's putting on that uniform. That means what? He's putting on, that uniform is what? His authority. Give it to him by the law of the land. So you're going to put on that uniform. When you see him ask you to move forward, you move forward. When you see him ask you to stop your car, you stop your car. So you must understand that in the realm of the Spirit, because you are of, you are put, you are put on Christ, that authority you have, re, you have received in his name. When you say in Jesus' name, I cast out that devil that is, that is in you, the devil don't understand. They will they'll be casted out. So don't think it's based on your own ability. Now you have to be able to read the scriptures. You have to ensure that in your mind you are trying to count if you are be able to, you know, abstain from sin for a long time or you fasted for many days. Give yourself to the love of God. Now because He loves you and has given His authority, that yes, indeed, I can speak these words and bring to pass the will of my Father on this earth. For He has always desired, He said, "What? Let my will be done on earth as it is in heaven." So by you exercising this authority, what are you doing? You are performing God's will on earth as it is in heaven. So if the Lord knows that, yes, he can use, he can work these works through you, that means what? He will back you up anytime. It doesn't matter how much power you have got. If someone with a higher authority than the one who authorized you comes, you have to submit. That means what? When you enter a place and the enemy thinks he has any form of authority or power, just like a regular place, a man is trying to challenge what God is doing. Let the man know that yes, he may have authority on this earth because of his you know, system of um, government, which is beautiful. But as one that owns all authority, the one that all authority is given to. That's why he says, "What well, all authority in heaven on earth is given to the Lord Jesus Christ." All that means even the very own small authority that the person who is a man and is found in the area of politics. Um, governmental body has as well. That authority has also been given, done what? given to the Lord Jesus Christ. That means when the, when the king of kings speak, it doesn't matter what, what, whatever authority you have, when a higher authority than the one that you, than the one who, author, who authorized you comes, you have to submit. That means when you speak in the, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that man who may have some sort of authority, he will have to what? Submit. He will have to what? Submit. That's so powerful. So that means that even a child of God who may have allowed certain things in his life through um, involvement in the demonic realm, somehow the enemy have crept in, and now the child of God has been possessed by those demons that he, have, he has exposed to or he or she have exposed, you know, have been exposed to. When you come in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, it doesn't matter how the person have made the mistake in time pass of giving yielding himself to the demonic spirit, and now they feel that like they, they own the person. Maybe some of some people might even be true um, covenant that have been done with their fathers or their forefathers. Now the devil feels he has been authorized to do the things he's doing in that person's life, on that family's life. But you will have come from a higher realm. You have come with authority that's above every other authority. Now when you say in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every other authority will do what will submit. That means that, that, that lesser authority do what? We submit to the one that has all authority. So powerful. Now, Matthew 28, verse 18 to 19. Let us in one, let us in, let us in on the master's authority. It says, and Jesus came and sp- spake unto them, saying, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. So we are sent in the name of Lord Jesus Christ to do what? Baptizing them. He says all power, not some. All has been given to him. That we can go and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and of the Holy Ghost. Notice it, it doesn't say some power, but all power. So it doesn't matter whatever power that is trying to come against you. It doesn't matter anyone that may have any sort of authority on this earth. You have come from a, 
from a, a higher realm. You have come from the one who has, who, has, who has what? All power. All authority has been given to him. That's from the supreme authority. You've come from him. That means whatever that power will do, what, will submit. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Also, observe that he didn't say that all power is given unto him to exercise in Israel or some parts or some parts of the world. No, he said in heaven and in earth. Not so part of Israel. Not like he's giving that it can only be exercised only in Nigeria and only Africa. No. In heaven and in earth. That means any place you go to, understand that God goes with you. Understand that his authority goes with you. You have, you have, you have not authorized to do the things you are doing. But he says what? Make disciples of what? All nations. You should teach all nations. That means any part of this world that you go to, you have that, that do what? Submit to the, to the one who has sent you. When you enter China, China in its own authority can do what? Submit to the one who owns what? All authority. It's beautiful that they have authority, yes. They will say that, yes, they, they, this is what the president has said. This is beautiful. I have respect for everybody, for everybody. That's awesome. But I must proclaim to you what the, what the one who owns all authority has said. It doesn't matter what any place you enter. And then they said to you that, oh, this is what the person has said. This is what the king of that place has said. That's beautiful. But now, what has the king of kings said about this thing? That what really matters. For he's one that owns all authority and has sent me in his name. Now I should what? Teach all nations. I should teach all nations. That means you must hear what the king is saying. For I have come from a higher realm. I'm bringing you information from the headquarters. I'm bringing you instruction from the headquarters. It doesn't matter how the branch, branch, branch um, officer is trying to be. Or uh, may have authority over that branch. As long as I've come from the headquarters, everybody in that branch will have to what? Obey the voice of the that come from the headquarter. So now I've come from headquarters where decisions have been made, and that's from heaven. And the man that came from heaven, and now I've been sent by the King of Kings, by the Lord of all, who owns the who owns, who owns all things. He has sent me in his name to tell you this and that and this. So whatever thing you have in your mind, you must what, submit to the word the King of Kings has said. And as that we, as God's children, we must walk. This is the way we must think. Don't think that, yes, this is what the, 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 you know, this is what the government has said. No. Who owns the government? Government itself have submitted to the king of kings. So it doesn't matter whatever that has been decreed in, the, in, your, in your land. As long as, as long as it is in line with the will of God. As long as it is in, in line with what, what, the, what the, the king of kings has said, then we can agree. But if it's not in line, that means what? I've been, I've been sent as an ambassador to establish my father's will on this earth, to establish the will of my father in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ. And you cannot stop it. You cannot stop it. It doesn't matter whatever level of authority you think you have. For all things are mine. All things are mine. You can't stop what the Lord has begun. We own this word. And he has sent us in his name. That we should do what? Make disciples of all nations. We should teach all nations. That means they will, they will have ignorance because of what? They're not given to the study of God's word. But you, you and I who are privileged to know Jesus and understand what God has said. We must what? Establish the truth. Currently in your, in your, in your, in your, in your country, maybe I've lied to you that, 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 you know, all sorts of lies are going on out there. You see people come up with um, a lot of, um, you know, nonsense that's going on out there. See things like um, you know, having no gender to your, to your child when you give it to your child. That's absolute stupidity. And that's from the pit of hell. For such things we cannot stand, we can't, stand, we can't put our hands for. We'll come against such nonsense because we know the one who has sent us is the king of kings. How can you say that we should not, how can you say a child can change our gender any time? A child who doesn't know anything, who doesn't know much. But that same country, they have refused a child of, of, of less than 16 years to, give, to, to vote. That shows that the demonic thing that's going on. And we cannot allow such a thing. We cast out that devil, we cast out those demons. And we even cast out anyone that wants to go or do what? Allow himself to be used by the enemy. We cast out from this earth because we own this world. Glory be to God. So we must understand as God's children that we have been sent to do what? Establish the will of our Father on this earth. And no authority can stand against it and prevail. It doesn't matter whoever they think they are. It doesn't matter how much they, they gather against you. God is able to what? To, to what? Perform his work through you. When I speak in Jesus' name, whatever I ask of the Father, He does for me. Whatever I ask of the Father, He does for me. So I decree and I declare that any way the enemy has attacked you in time past, because you have heard these words now, I declare and I declare any demonic activity that is happening around you now, I declare and I declare you are set free in Jesus' name. I cast out every works of the enemy from your life. I cast out poverty from you. I cast out any, any witchcraft manipulation from you. I cast out any form of sickness from you. Every oppression, any, every oppression of the enemy against your life, I cast it down in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I declare you are free. I declare you are free by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. 
you are free. Amen. The Lord Jesus has supreme and unrivaled authority. Who are you to come against the, 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 church, the church of the Lord Jesus Christ? Who do you think you are? What do you, who do you think you are? A man making a decree that in his nation that, that no one should be what? Preach Christ. Who do you think you are? How dare you say such a thing? Can you hold wing? If you can't hold wing, that means you can't hold a child of God. You can't. Jesus could only be crucified because that was his appointed time to be, or to be crucified. But before then, they, they couldn't hold him. That means if it's not the appointed time for you as a child of God to be what to leave this earth, no man can stop you, no man can cut you off. And I know no, no devil can start, stand against a nation and, and make decrees that it should not be so. We must stand and challenge all this nonsense and establish God's will on this earth. Glory be to God. All this stupidity must stop. Who can rival against, against, against the Lord's authority? No man. Hallelujah. When you issue commands of, to Satan and his demons and the elements of this world in his name, they will hear and obey. So when I come to any country, any city, any place, any family, anybody, and I see any demonic oppression, any demonic um, um, nonsense that's going on in that person's life, or around the person, or in any business, in any organization, I'm giving the authority in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ to what? Cast out that devil. And when I do so, they obey. Just the way you have been set free. If you are sick, check yourself or you are healed. Check yourself. For the angels of the Lord have been working on you all this while you listening to the word of God. Check yourself. Check yourself. You are healed already in Jesus' name. Amen. Anything you couldn't do before, do it now. And when you go, anyone you see that is sick, cast out that devil in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be, the, the, indeed, the devil will be cast out from those ones. For you are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. They will hear and obey you because you function in Christ's supreme authority and, obe- and, and dominion. That is where I come from. Christ's supreme what? authority and dominion. Christ's supreme authority and dominion. Think about those words. Supreme authority and dominion. Supreme. Supreme. We are spreading the gospel everywhere. God's word is prevailing everywhere. All the foolishness of the enemy in this in these various nations of the earth, we are bringing to an end to them all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are establishing God's will everywhere by the power of the Holy Ghost. We are sent in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to do what? To teach all nations. And we are teaching all nations. Every form of stupidity must be ended. We are not the one that is going to do, do quiet Christianity. We are not, we are not the one going to do what? Come Christianity, or don't I say, okay, just be, just have to accept um, um, the, 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 the loss of the land. Which one is loss of the land? There's a higher Lord has come, and his one has the supreme authority, and this world belongs to King Jesus. So I've come from a higher, higher authority, and you have to obey. So we must walk in this mindset, we must move in the name of Lord Jesus Christ and do what? Establish his will on this earth. Exercise that supreme authority I've received in his name. That you can do what establish his will on this earth. And I declare and declare that any power that has been tormenting your village, your village, your village, yes, your village, any power that have kept people in bondage, I declare and declare that influence is over now in Jesus' name. The, the people of your, the, that place where you have come from that are set free by the power of, power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. They are set free by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Leo, King Jesus reigns over them all. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Even your city, your nations, I cast out those influence of the enemy. Amen. Glory be to God. God is faithful. God is faithful. God is faithful. And we will walk in his, in his grace. We will walk in his grace. Amen. Dear Father, we thank you. Thank you for giving us this ability, O Lord, to command and enforce obedience. Amen. And the power of attorney that we can use your name, King Jesus, to effect changes and control circumstances around us. Thank you, King of Glory. Maros shana brande makushka vezara brande. We do effect changes everywhere. Command things in the name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere you know that things are contrary to the will of God. We come against every stupidity that has been taking place in Nigeria. We come against every foolishness that has been taking place in Nigeria. Every political foolishness will come against that name of Jesus Christ. I declare and declare that the end has come now. Every stupidity that has been happening in, 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 in these various nations, a lot I come against it now. Makos shana Brande Makushka Vesara Bronde, Ripradoska, 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 Ripradoska. Yeah, declare that the gospel shall have free course in these nations of the, of the world. God's gospel indeed have free course in the nations of the world. Makataraba Shande Kirabonde, Rekio Zari Brande Makushka Ve, Rakataka Taraba Shata, Lekroduska, Brande Makushka Ve, Rikataraba Shaka Tarabonda, Rebonde Makuraba Sante Cabradia, Rikata Zaka Taraba Shata, Ikadoshka Ve, Makushka Brande. Yes, God's word is prevailing. Marabosha, Marabosha, we put on every works of the enemy, we destroy the works of Satan everywhere. Makataraba Shata. 
Rabata, Lord, your will alone is performed. Marabo Shandi Giska Branda Makushka Ve, Redebonde, 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 Rikata Kataraba Shandi Kiska Pradoshka. Yes, Lord, your will is performed. Yes, Lord, your will is performed. Makataraba Shata, thank you for the ability, Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Zara Branda Makushka Bradiba, thank you, King of Glory. Yes, Lord, we give you glory. Oh, all the glory belongs to you, King of Glory. Marabo Shana Brande Makushka Bradia, for your will is established, O Lord. In our Lord Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. So I declare that this day you shall see God's goodness flow in everything that you do. Amen. No devil, no demon can stand against you. Amen. For I cast them out in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I cast them out now in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You will walk in health. You will walk in joy. You will walk in peace. Amen. You will walk in greatness. Establishing Amen. the will of God concerning you. Amen. And from glory to glory your story. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit indeed abounds with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.